Hey everybody, welcome to this video guide for Assassin's Creed 3 Remastered on the Xbox Series X. Today we are completing sequence 12, memory 1, and getting 100% synchronization on it. And to do so, you need to make sure you limit your regular kills to 3, you escape the ship without entering into open conflict, and you kill the ship's captain. So before we get started on the memory, I would like to mention that you can take advantage of the time codes that are in the play bar and in the description to jump around to whatever you need, whether it be 100% synchronization or anything random throughout the memory. But with that being said, let's go ahead and get started. He sent me away that day at Fort George. He feared for my safety. I should have stayed. He said there was no danger. He was wrong. I will kill you, Connor. This I swear. Not here, though. Not today. No. First... First, I'll destroy all you hold dear. I'll burn that homestead of yours to the ground and roast the seven heads of your precious founding fathers in its flames. And when I've finished with them, all the rest will burn as well. Your merry band of assassins, the human refuse that lives on your land, your village and its people, all of it, gone. You can try, Charles. But as with all your schemes, this too will end in failure. Get him on his feet. He will wait. He will watch. And then, when he's seen all his life's work brought to ruin, only then will I allow him to die. Take him away. Alright, so after that opening cutscene, we are going to be getting beaten up by these mercenaries. Go ahead and counter when you see fit, and then you're going to start the fighting sequence here. Just take them out however you feel. You can counter kill them, whatever. <laughs> as long as you kill this first group of enemies, nothing to be too concerned about here. What you do want to be concerned about is ensuring that you loot the bodies of this first group of five enemies. When you go to the next area, you actually go through a cutscene at the end of the fight, so you can't loot all of those enemies that you see popping up over there. You just want to make sure you loot this first group of bodies here, so that way you can check for arrows or poison darts. Poison darts are definitely the ammunition you are looking for, but you at least want arrows, so that way you can take out the ship's captain from a range, and you don't need to get close to them at all to complete that 100% synchronization requirement. So go ahead and check your inventory and ensure you have at least poison darts or arrows, so that way you're good when you arrive at the ship. If you don't have any, I'd highly recommend you restart your checkpoint. However, you can probably get away without them and you can loot bodies on the ship, but that's just my personal recommendation. Now, go ahead and continue to take out the remaining enemies over here. You only need to take out the enemies with the marker on their head. So don't worry about any of the other red coats. Just focus on the mercenaries and you will clear this out in no time. It isn't too much of a crazy fight. But once you do complete the fight, there will be a brief cutscene. And then we are headed to the ship. And that is when we are concerned about 100% synchronization. Charles Lee gone. The harbor. To catch a ferry. Alright, now it is time for us to head to the ship. And like I said, you can't loot any of the bodies anymore. You can only loot the bodies that you killed from the original group of five, but you know, there's only one there left now. 
So you want to make sure you loot them before you even start up that second fight. So that way you can stock up on any arrows or poison darts. Whatever you can get, either of those will be really beneficial when it comes to arriving on the ship and getting 100% synchronization. So once you have arrived at the ship's location, we are going to be climbing up the side of it. I think this is the only path you can take as the missions marker is pointing you towards this area. So go ahead and follow the path that I am taking here. It is going to be the easiest to get you up to the right side over there. And then now that we are on the ship, you need to ensure that you're limiting your regular kills as you cannot get more than three. Really, you can't get more than two. If you get three, then you are going to fail the objective. So you can only kill two enemies here, including the captain. The captain does count as a regular kill. So ensure you are only killing one other guard. You'll see the guard that I go and kill. That should be the only guard that you go and kill as well, as it is the one that seems to spot you quite easily, and it is beneficial if you clear them out so that way you have an easier time of navigating around the ship. All right, once you've made it to this area, we are going to be headed down to the right. You have two options. You can lower yourself down to the pole below, or you can just head down these stairs over here. I opted to go the route of the stairs, so I waited for the guard to turn around, and then I went down and made it to the path down over to the right. And then now that we are on this area here, we just need to eavesdrop. So hang on this window and then complete the eavesdrop. And then we are going to continue on. All right. So the eavesdrop has been completed and now we're headed over to the right. There are two guards here. So all you need to do is wait for the guard on the left to be out of the way. And then you can head over to the right. This is the guard that I always take out as it is the most beneficial to ensure that he is out of the way as he is always looking over to the right. Make sure you act quick as he can spy you as you're climbing up to assassinate him. Now let's go ahead and continue on over to the right. We are going to be headed to this eavesdropping location over here and there's one guard in our way. It's not anything to worry about, just wait for the guard to turn around and then once the coast is clear, we can head to the eavesdrop location and complete that. And then once you do that, the captain will leave this area here and it is the perfect opportunity to get a ranged kill on them with our poison dart or our crossbow. So we are in the eavesdrop area. Now just wait it out and get ready to head to the roof. All right, so the eavesdrop has concluded and now all of the guards are headed outside, especially the ship's captain. We are going to be paying attention to him. So wait for the ship's captain to head to the bottom of the stairs. Once they have gotten to this point right about here at the bottom of the stairs, go ahead and kill them with your crossbow or poison dart. And then once they are killed, go ahead and jump off the ship, ensuring that you are avoiding any of the enemies nearby and you do not get spotted. Remember that if you do use the poison dart, the poison needs to take effect and actually kill the captain before you jump off. If you do not kill the captain with the poison before jumping off, then you will fail 100% synchronization. All right, that is about it for this video. I hope I was able to help you out. If I was, please do drop a like. It lets me know I was able to help you and it helps me with the algorithm, all of that good stuff. And if you did enjoy the video, enjoyed the content and enjoyed how I presented everything, definitely consider sticking around and subscribing because this is not going to be the last guide from me. Anyways, thank you so much for watching this video. Take care and have a great day.